So a win's a win, isn't it? Wolves fans, that's the only real thing you can take from that one. Wolves was great past Fulham. A team that Villa scored three against, I think, and we only managed the one. Can't believe it. Um, but no, yeah, Pedro Neto getting the goal, really the, the star of the season so far. Last week, the only real one seemed to be trying, the only one that could hold his head high. This week, again, uh, he's got the goal, made the difference. I think he's going to be a great a great player for us this season. Up front, on the wing, in midfield, seems very versatile and, and really gives it his all. So looking like a good season for him. Criminally underrated on this year's FIFA, by the way. I don't know what they were thinking with that, but I think there's going to be a few upgrades there. Um, as for the rest of the game, look nervous defensively, but got the job done. Clean sheet, so you can't really complain. Would have liked a few more goals, but Fulham would have tried to be more defensively solid this game, try and change it up. And I, I think they did all right, to be fair. A few, uh, few decent players in there as well. Cody dealt better with Mitrovic than he ever has before. So it's not too bad. Onto the international break now. A good, a good win before. Two wins, two losses. It's not typical Wolves, really. Normally a draw in there if it's Wolves, isn't it? So, um, so yeah, it's all right. It's a, a, a shaky start to the season, but players are going to come in now. Players are going to click during this international break. I'd hope, anyway, the ones that are left over. Um, and I think it'll be all right. It's a, it's a, we needed this. It's going to be a, a good season from here on out. Fingers crossed. Cheers. Talking Wolves, I've got my mask on today, but I've got it on my head because a few people got offended last week, said it on my face, but I was in a shop. Anyway, long story. Um, today, I think, uh, look, we'll take the three points and we'll run with it. Um, look, it's it's really, for me, it's really difficult watching the football now and not being allowed in the stadium. I think it's taken its toll on all sides, but... We've got to take the positives from it. Absolutely fantastic finish from Neto. Um, he's getting his opportunity now and he's showing what he can do. So that's great. Uh, look, hard fought out victory. I was a bit frustrated towards the end because we needed to see the game out. And I think if we'd have bought Traore on a bit earlier, he can keep the ball in the final third of the field um, and take the pressure off Wolves. Uh, but listen, in Nuno we trust. We've got the three points. We can't complain. Keep tuning in to Talking Walls. They're doing a great job. Over and out. A win. Back to winning ways, which after three defeats is, I think, the best that we could have asked for. I mean, I did say yesterday, I said, you know, as long as we beat Fulham, I'm happy. Uh, having said that, it was, a, it was a mixed performance. I think Nelson Semedo was, was much improved in this one. Um, it, was, it was good to see him on, down on the, on the right-hand side. Very energetic, wanting the ball, getting forward well. He looks to be a decent, uh, really, really good signing. But it was just, again, it was a very strange and a very muted performance. I think if we'd have played a team better than Fulham, I think we probably would have lost again, to be honest. It wasn't fantastic to watch. Um, Pedro Neto, yet again, bright spark in attack. Superb, really deserved his goal as well. Fantastic finish. Uh, I think it, the, the, my issue with it is at the, at the moment is... The way that we're playing just wasn't fantastic. We were slow getting the ball out. And we shouldn't... You know, Fulham have been smoked pretty much by every team that they've played this season. And, you know, they've been conceding three, four goals here and there. And the fact that we... At, we're at home against them. We know that they're weak defensively. We, we know that they can see goals. And we play five at the back and we're passing it backwards and sideways. Again, first half was poor. Second half wasn't much better, to be honest. Fulham actually dominated. And then as soon as we got the goal, again, we sort of like just sat back. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, why are we sitting back against a team that are the worst in the league by, by a country mile so far this season? Um, it, it's disappointing that we get so defensive um, especially after the, the whole hype around this, you know, this Wolves 4.0 and this new system and attacking football. And I don't know, we haven't really seen that so far. I guess it's going to take a while to implement it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm buzzing with a win, to be honest. Just getting the three points again is, is just good. Clean sheet as well. And to be honest, even though we were playing pretty much five at the back, the defence were solid and they were a lot better than they were against West Ham. There's a few tricky moments. The Luckman. Uh, the, the chance for Kamara that Luckman created uh, was was a bit of a nervy one, and um, there are a couple of moments where we didn't maybe look quite comfortable. We, but on the whole, I think we were comfortable today. It was a good, solid performance, a decent win. But yeah, I think we should we should be trying to score more goals or just get at teams a little bit more and just show a little bit more energy. It was another sort of kind of lacklustre performance again. So, yeah, hoping for slightly better, but uh, yeah, a decent win today. And, uh, you know, we'll take the three points. Yeah, so Wolves won, Fulham nil, and it was a boring first half again, wasn't it? Very tedious to watch, very boring. Um, we set up with Romain Saiz, left wing back, which I thought when I first saw the team sheet, it was Kilman that was left wing back. Either or, 
it's not very good, is it, when we're starting basically one of our two centre backs, left wing back. We know vanagre has gone. We know the the young lad from Angers is meant to come in, but not good. I thought Marcel would be back anyway. So that was the controversy of the starting lineup. At least Pedence was back, and we were playing a Fulham side that lost three 0 to Aston Villa, got smashed in the uh, League Cup too. So. A lot of pressure was on Wolves to win this game and win it convincingly after we lost 4-0 to West Ham. And first half was really boring. Um, all I can think of really is Jimenez's flick across the box in terms of chances first half. We had a few shots and whatever, but nothing. Oh, I was saying that, Samido. Sorry, I forgot about that. Samido should have scored. Uh, great save by their keeper who kept him in the game, to be honest, Fulham's keeper. Um, and yeah, Samido's chance is probably the best chance. And he had a good game, to be fair to him, I thought. Bit worried about him defensively, but overall, hopefully he can be a good player in that right wing back position. But yeah, you go in at half time and social media must have been in meltdown because it wasn't a very good performance, was it? But we come out second half. We know Wolves are second half FC, so we knew we could go on and win it. But I was worried. I thought it was going to be like the Stoke game or something where we were just going to be all over them, can't break them down, and they hit us on the break and score. But it wasn't to be. We did manage to get the win. A great goal by Neto. who was man of the match for me. Great finish. Jimenez should have scored just before it when he went through one-on-one. -on -one. And we had a few other chances too. But Fulham should have scored. Kamara missed an absolute sitter after Mitrovic passed it across to him. And I was so grateful that didn't go in. And Fulham, to be fair to him, after being so bad this season, everyone tipping them for relegation, they were a bit better defensively. And they had a few chances going forward. So from a Fulham point of view, they could probably be a bit proud of their performance. But... Wolves, although we won, still a lot to improve on. Worrying moments, but a win is a win. Two wins out of the first four games. We didn't win in the first eight last season and we still like came seventh then. So in terms of that, really, it's better, isn't it? Nice little running to come. Well, I say nice, we've got leads. So. But we'll see. Things to improve on. We need to be more attacking, especially in the first half. We need to do what we did against Sheffield United. But a win's a win. I know fans are not happy. I understand that, but it's three points. Bring on Leeds and come on Wolves. Big positive, we won. Negatives, everything else. That was, we made that so much harder than what it needed to be. Against arguably the worst team in the league, we didn't look that good at all. Personally, I thought we looked just really bad, especially in the first half. We just didn't look like we knew what we were doing. We weren't pressing. We were showing him way too much respect. And, you know, they were always dictating the possession. Second half came along. We started to press more and we scored. But then what did we do after that? We made a defensive substitution. We tried to see out a game against bottom of the table. For me, that win just papers over the cracks, really, from what we already know. We were too slow, you know, not looking to press high up the pitch. It seems as though the, the subs that Nuno came on didn't make an impact. If anything, it made us worse and hindered our performance. I, I don't know what the hell's going to be happening, to be honest with you. Um, I just think that this really emphasises what most of us already think, where it's going to be mid-table. Um, what can you say? Samada had a good game. Neto has worked hard and probably been our best player since the start of the season. He deserved that. Whereas the rest of it just didn't look promising. It just didn't look convincing at all. It just reminded me of Rotherham when we beat them 1-0 under Paul Lambert, where the reaction was we booed him after a victory, but because of how bad it was. We shouldn't be playing like that, especially against the side bottom of the league, and especially knowing that they can't defend. We just didn't attack them enough for me. Um, but at the end of the day... The positive is we got three points. You just need... If we play like that against Leeds, if we play like against that any other team, we won't win. But at least we got three points. That's that's kind of the positive, really. First and foremost, I'm happy with the three points today, um, obviously. But especially after the last couple of performances um, and results, uh, the left side looked very unbalanced. But I think that's obviously because so many people playing at a position... Um, We've got Ait Nori to come in, who's a bright prospect. Um, should should really help out down that left hand side, especially in terms of attacking. I thought it was uh, obvious with Sacey's lack of pace and ability to sort of maraud down the left, um, as that's not his job. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought we were poor in performance. Um, I thought Raul had a had a very much off day. And uh, there wasn't really much creativity. The midfield seems a bit static this season so far. 
um, but hopefully that that will come with time of uh, Nuno's new system or whatever it might be being implemented throughout the the start of the campaign. Afternoon talking wolves. Uh, well, that was horrible. Uh, probably the one of the worst ninety minutes apart from the West Ham game I've seen us play in a while. Just looked out of ideas. We looked short today. We just didn't create really anything. I think the most creative player on the pitch was probably Samido. A couple of one twos he played. Um, Neto took his goal well, but apart from that, it was poor cross after poor cross. Not just from him. Um, silly short corners as well when we've got all our defenders up forward and they were playing these stupid passing triangles instead of just putting the ball in the box. I thought Cody did really well today. That did one very good clearance, I feel, when he glanced the ball um, away from Mitrovic. Uh, but I still think we're missing that, holding the, the attacking midfielder that we need, someone dynamic, someone who can make something happen in the game. It seems like there's too far of a gap between our midfielder and our forwards, and we're not, we're not, you know, closing the gap very well and getting the ball and getting enough service. I think we definitely need a centre back as well. Still, I think Kilman did all right, but yeah, it was frustrating to watch again as a horse fan. I think, yeah, changing it to a possession team in the in the middle of a season, as opposed to in pre season. I think changing the ethos and expecting it to happen and work well with new players. I think it's too much to ask, but. I guess we'll find out. It can't get much worse than that. I mean, West Ham falling in, then we scrape past relegation fodder. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens next.